Alrighty guys, welcome back to Skygrid. Um, yeah, night has fallen, and my base is yet to be found. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to sprint around and see if I can find another chest, and um, try and actually set up a base without dying this time. Last episode was a bit crap here. It's kind of insta-death, and I was really not happy with that. Had a bit of a rage, um, but we're going to be grabbing our bed again. I'm going to make this episode a bit longer just to compensate for last episode. It was a bit short, I thought, um, although I really have trouble tracking how long my videos go for, so I didn't want it to be too long. I thought I'd just have it as an opening to the map, give you guys a quick preview of what it looks like, and then we'll get stuck into the, into the meat and potatoes, the playthrough in the future, aka right now. So, um, obviously we want to get a bed set up. I'm trying really hard to focus on double shifting, not double shifting, pressing forwards to make sure that I actually shift, uh, sprint so I don't fall again. That was really, really upsetting last episode. Um, I guess we'll make our bed here. But I don't actually have enough blocks to place it on, so that's a little bit awkward. Not gonna lie, but looks like we should be able to... Oh, whoa, what the... What are you doing, man? What What the sheep? Hey? You see what I did there? Um, <laughs> oh, that was so lame. But, um, need to get our smooth stone back up to standards. So we can get our iron happening. No, not again. Thank you. And um, the goal is I'm probably going to set up my level one block lower than this iron block. So that way I can make a safety net under all these blocks. So if I need to harvest them, I can go ahead and do so without risk of dying, which is a great thing. Um, I'm going to take a risk here though, which is probably not a good idea. That's not what I wanted to do actually. I wanted to get onto the block underneath me, but what I might do is actually use this wood, uncompress the planks and then... oh. That was probably a dumb move. Huh. But we might have a bit of a snooze just now. I saw a spider jockey before and I shit my pants. Um, cause yeah, the last thing I want is a mob on my ass. Um, yeah, interpret that how you will. But we need one more stone. How perfect is that? Um, let's try a pillar up here. Get this wood block. Need to make another crafting bench. I totally forgot where I just put my last one. This map's so hectic. Um, there it is, just up there. Did that just seriously fall down? This map is goddamn stressful. Everything just blends in, so that's why I couldn't find my first base before. But, um, please don't fall. Likewise. Um, Alright, so that's what we want. We need to make a crafting bench. I need to get some goddamn iron happening. Otherwise, I'm going to be upset. What the fuck? That was that was the worst attempt at a crafting bench I've ever seen in my life. Um, but yeah, it seems that you guys are really enjoying this playthrough, which is nice to see. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to add some variety to the old channel. And um, if you're new to this channel, welcome. Um, my channel grows really strangely. It won't do anything for a week, and then all of a sudden I'll have 20 new people, or just a random amount of people randomly just find my video so if you are a newbie to my channel welcome um, please don't fall chain boots a diamond hoe what the and apparently the only way to get saplings in this is in fact through the chests um, which is interesting but anyway as we have this soothing music to guide us through this playthrough um, hmm, I need to find a chest with a lot of building blocks too Unfortunately, my last attempt, well, you know what happened, I'm not going to uh, dwell into that again, that was extremely depressing, probably the worst moment of my life, so, oh, there we go, just what we need, um, so what we're going to do here is find a layer that we want, that has a lot of goodies on it, what is that spawner, I have no idea what's spawning out of that thing, I think it's chickens actually, that's a good thing, um, what I might do, okay, 
I know my brain is just like fucking flinging back and forth like a ping pong, but uh, what we need to do, the, the thingies are spaced four apart, so if we can keep it on this level, we should be able to collect blocks fairly easily and um, utilize that spawner. Although I don't want to waste too many dirt blocks getting to and fro. But yeah, food source is going to be a bitch to get, so I imagine these chickens will be nice. Um, I've got no way of cooking them as of yet, but I'm sure I'll be able to find enough materials to make a furnace and such. Um, I mean, it's ev there's materials everywhere. Um, as I said in my previous episode, the goal of this playthrough is to kill the dragon, no matter how long it takes. And I'm um, not to um, buggerize around with any other things, such as like mob traps and such. I might make a simple um, skeleton spawner or something. No, I'm killing machine, but apart from that, I think I'll just try and stick to the plan. And I really need to wait till night so I can actually re-sleep in this bed. And I'm not sure why these chickens don't spawn. But, um, because, yeah, I really need to set the spawn and actually get a chest happening. Just so when I venture out, I don't get owned and then start bitching about it <laughs> to you guys. Um, although that 43 dirt did not go very far. So I need to kind of have a look. Because you've got to remember to look up in every direction. Because there is just crap absolutely everywhere. I'm not sure how um, Seth Bling created this map, but bloody hell. It's crazy. It would have taken a crap ton of time to make to put random chests everywhere. I'm not sure. But yeah, as always, if you guys want to check this map out for yourself, give yourself a little playthrough of it, I'll provide, as always, a link to the direct download slash the Minecraft forums in which you can download this map from. And um, if you guys want to check out Seth Bling's channel, go ahead. Um, he's the bloke behind this map, so give him some kisses and such if you're into that stuff. If not, I don't know. Whatever. But, um... <laughs> I'm really not sure. I probably should bust the chests open that the ones that I have already checked, I almost just fell off just then. That would have sucked ass. But um, I need to get some more cobblestone. And, oh, this is really awkward. Um, can we reach this from here? No, we can't. It's weird. In multiplayer, for some reason, you have like an extended reach. So I'm kind of used to that because I've been playing SMP for a little streak recently. But I'm not quite sure why this spawner isn't spawning any chickens. Well, frame rate issues again. I apologize. Um, whew, how are we going to do this? I w I'd like to go down this chest, but I know if I do that, I won't have enough blocks to get up. But. Oh, screw it. We'll take a chance. And it's already empty. Wow, that sucked. Um, shit. Didn't really account for that. Uh, oh, God. Don't you start playing up on me now, mouse. Alright, trying to build up our blocks just to get back to our base. I swear to God, if I fall off again, I don't know, I'll probably have to rage quit. Despite how awesome this map is. If I can find any other chests, I might risk it. But for now, I might have to play it safe for the time being. Because I can't afford to screw up much more than I already have. Which is quite a substantial amount. And I think we can spawn a villager in just for shits and giggles. Oh, wolf. I would spawn him in, but I kind of want him alive at some stage, which, yeah, makes sense. But anyway, we might have to waste our wood, unfortunately, which was kind of beside the point of actually going down there in the first place. Probably should place this bed down just in case. Um, I'll place some torches down here just in case. Well, just, just in case, way too many times in one sentence, but uh, if we die... Actually, note down those coordinates so if I die, I can actually come back to this location and not be a total spastic like I was last episode. Um, but what? I thought I placed this bed down already. What the hell? But um, I really need to come across some more building blocks, so I don't know. I need like a texture pack that like shows me where all the different chests are because this is just mesmerizing and like it's like a giant mosaic. It's crazy. Um, 
it's apparently inspired by Skyblock, but this is like a whole nother level. And um, I've played Skyblock quite a few times. I really enjoy that map. Um, probably went to a playthrough of it just because it's so played through, to put it blunt. But um, yeah, that's why I chose to do this map. I was going to do a mini hostile map by Vex. That it's also another possibility to do in the future. But for now, we'll stick to this one. Um, damn mosquito! And um, I apologise. I'm like idling. I'm just. I really need to set my spawn so I can adventure without worry about dying. I also need to get a chest set up, so I guess we can try and do that now. And, um, hmm. I've had a lot of parkour practice, but when it comes down to it, a clutch situation, I screw up a whole lot of the time, which isn't fun. And, um, God. Looking in all the different directions, you kind of confuse the crap out of yourself. You forget which way's up. Um, it's, yeah, you trip balls when you play this map. Might actually pinch some of that iron. Um, can't really check how much time's left in the day. And I'm just praying, fingers crossed, that I don't fall down any blocks. Otherwise, that'll be tragic. The goal is to get three. Um, oh, did that just fall down? Oh, I did too. I need three iron and ore to make a bucket. And that way we can get started on a cobblestone generator, which will be the primary source of blocks. Which means I don't have to go looking around for goddamn chests all the time. So once that happens, I think progress will be extremely quick, as opposed to this. I'm kind of just scouting the area, trying not to screw up, if I'm honest. Um, I'm tempted to just shift-click and then let go. And try and re-grab it. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Alright, we'll see how close we can get. Might as well pinch this while we're here. Um, use as many building boxes as we can. And uh, maybe I need uh, grass for the chickens to spawn. I didn't think I'd need grass, but I've been wrong before. And I don't think I'll ever stop being wrong. So, there's always a possibility. Hmm. How are we going to do this? Kinda waste of one wood. Whoop. Hello. Oh man, this map. Seth Bling, you've. Oh, you've officially fried my brain. But, um, as I said, I'll keep this episode a bit longer for you guys. Um, once I set my spawn, I'll get things cranking and actually have enough wood for a chest. Thank God. Um, which is another good way that I can actually explore without crapping my pants. I'll put everything valuable over here. Uh, maybe keep the stone pickaxe on us. Probably don't need that. That's probably not necessary. Whack that in the chest. All we need to do now is set our spawn. And, oh, that's that's a strange sunset, I, I have to admit. What the fuck? Did I just put my pickaxe in the chest and not the boots? Goddamn derp. And I'll be screwed if I don't have enough energy. That would be very awkward if we got down to three hunger. Um, so it's going to go for a little jog. I might pick these melons up, actually. Because if worse comes to worse and those chickens don't spawn, I have to set up a melon farm. Just a good backup food source. I don't want to limit myself to chickens. Especially when the spawn is not even working, which... Makes no sense, but all well, beggars can't be choosers. I think once we get a cobblestone generator, I'll probably look towards wrapping the episode up. Um, yeah, as always, let me know in the comments if you're enjoying the series, and I'll post more of them. Um, positive comments and all that are a massive motivation to keep me making videos, so if that's what you'd like, please go ahead and comment. I, you don't have to kiss my ass, just ask me, ask me a question, I don't really care, fuck my life, um, that wasn't supposed to happen, but, yeah, just post, if you got any queries about this map, um, or anything, let me know, happy to answer questions, as long as they're relevant, and, yeah, and such, so we need two more iron, before we can think about getting a bucket happening, we also need a crap ton more stone, 
And I'm really looking out for a chest. That's my highest priority right now. Because if I can find a stack of stone or something... Right, I'm getting a bit too low right now. Getting a bit nervous. Yeah, if I can come across a stack of cobblestone or something, that'll be fantastic. I'll be able to make a furnace and stuff. And I'm out of run energy. Crap. It was inevitable. Um, Alright. Risk it. Alright. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it up, but hopefully, fingers crossed, this chest up ahead gives me something good. Oh, Seth, Bling, I love you, man. You just saved my ass. And now we can get up to wherever the hell that base is. Where the fuck? Cause yeah, it all blends together. It's really, really confusing. I know I've probably said that before, but I can't stress that enough. If you guys do this for yourself, make sure to clearly mark out your area with torches and such. So if worse comes to worse, you can wait till night and actually just you know, spot it out of the darkness. Probably the best way to go about it. I don't want to waste all this cobblestone. Actually, I'll probably just do this. Peel, use that as a step. Got to be efficient with your block placing here. And that sucked. Um, oh, I hope I'm not out of blocks by the time I get on level with that. Gimme. But yeah, if we could just get a simple little cobblestone generator happening. Yep. Okay, uh, shouldn't have risked that, but oh, it worked out in the end. In the end, it doesn't really matter. And I've played Skyblock way too many times, so I know exactly what I need to do in terms of a cobblestone generator. Um, do I have enough blocks, though? That is the question. Probably just jinxed myself right now, so... Probably look like a bit of a douche, a bit of a dick. Um... But we, what we need to do is get some water flowing into this block here. I'll probably just put this here and here. And do we have enough blocks? Should do, actually. All that's left to do is create a... F what's it called? Is this long enough, actually? I think that through the water... Yeah, that's not long enough. Need to make that one longer. Oh, well, I think... I think we have enough blocks for it. Perfect. I think. I think. I'm not sure, but I think so. Alright. Maybe. <laughs> I might have to pinch some of the dirt. I'm pretty sure we need it to go down one, and then the lava needs to be here. So I just need to encase it around like so. Um, what I could actually do is replace these blocks here with wood. Um, hopefully, they don't catch a light from the lava. Because they will catch light if I placed them um, over here so hopefully I can use them to hold in the water without the lava burning them because that would be sucky as I'm feeling a whole lot better about this already alright that should be good um, so yeah I think I left beautiful oh I just realized I need to get 8 more cobblestone for a furnace um, Hmm, so we've got half a cobblestone generator, a spawn, a chicken spawn that doesn't work, and a chest. And I think that's pretty much an episode wrap, guys. Um, I'll pump out another video of this in a couple of days, so look out for that. And um, as always, thank you so much for watching. Um, no word of the day or anything for this, so don't stress. And yeah, looks like I'm almost dead, so yeah, that's, that's looking good. See you guys. I'm going to stop blabbering on, talking crap, and I'll let you go, and I'll catch these guys later.